Hello and welcome to another UMEC tutorial. My name is Nico and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can create some headphones from just this arc and a circle. So it's really easy to start off. Basically draw a circle. You know how to do that uh, and UMEC will automatically correct the circle. Move it over to the side and then draw an arc. You can do that from the front view, draw the arc from the front view, and draw the circle from the side view. All right, once you have your circle and your arc ready, that look something like this, then you are ready to jump into it and follow along on this tutorial. So I'll move right along here. To create the headphone, we are going to actually uh, work on just one half of the headphones and then we'll use the mirroring feature to do the other side later on. This makes designing easier. You only have one set of curves to have to worry about. And it's just, um, it's kind of how you actually work in the real uh, design world. Basically you'll work on one half and mirror it until uh, you get near the final production phases. So just a, a quick uh, technique to show you. All right, let's do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually uh, create the earpiece. So the earpiece is going to be just a series of extrusions. So I'm going to come over to the, I'm going to select the circle, come over to the extrude function, tap extrude, and I'm just going to extrude out like this, tap done. And we can go for yellow for, for this. Sure, why not? And then I'm just going to shrink, using the scaling tool, shrink this circle a little bit. And I can pull out just a little, little bit more. And I can do that extrusion again, except this time I want to go inside a little bit. And I will shrink that even more. And then I'll close this off, create surface like that. And I'll do the same thing going the other direction. So just using the extrusion tool again, I can just extrude over like this, for example, and then select the outer curve again and just extrude over and use the scaling tool to shrink this one. And here, uh, I might not want to use the extrude function, so I might just duplicate this circle and do it and scale in a little bit like this with the duplicate function. I'll create a surface between these two and then I'll go back to using the extrude function again. I'll extrude inwards, scale this, and create a surface in inner surface. Now, I like the yellow color. I feel that this is a little overpowering. So what I might do here is actually color everything kind of like a light gray, something like this, and then do a yellow accent on the outside. Yeah, we'll work with that for now. And this part, we can make a dark gray. There we go. So now we have the earpiece for the headphones. Now to do the headband, we're just going to again use the extrude function. So select this curve, use extrude, and we can do a two-way extrude here. So I'll just do something like that. But actually, before I do this, I want to maintain this 
central curve. And the reason for that is I actually want to reuse it. So I can uh, do it another way. I'm going to turn on the symmetry function. Turn on x-axis symmetry. And here I will just do a simple extrusion, not with the two ways. And what this will do is it will keep the, the curve in the middle there. You'll see why I want to keep that there in a second. So there I'm pulling this headband out. And this is great. It looks good, but this is flat. There's kind of no dimension to this. So actually, I'm going to take this curve in the middle again, and I'm going to duplicate it and just move it up a little bit like this. Turn the duplicate button off, the function off, and then edit some of the points here. I'm just going to pull some of these points out. And what this is going to do is create a slightly different curve. And the reason I want that curve is now I can create a lofted surface between these two curves. So I've selected this outer curve that we created with our extrusion, and I created this second curve in the middle. I'll create a surface there. And because we had two-way symmetry on, it created the other side automatically. So now we have a headband that has some dimension to it, some thickness to it goes into the earpiece. And all that is left now is to duplicate this. I'm going to come down and turn off the symmetry, or mirror this. So I've turned off the symmetry. Now we're just going to mirror this. So I have that ready to go. It's all selected. Come over here, tap mirror. We are going to mirror this over the z-axis. And just like that, in a few steps, using pretty much the extrude tool, scaling, and in one instance, the lofting tool, we have a set of headphones. So you can start to create a nice set of headphones using just an arc, a circle, the extrude tool, and the lofting surfaces. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and I can't wait to see what kind of headphones you make. Uh, we really love seeing your creations, so feel free and be sure to share on the UMake community. Hope you have a great day. If you have any feedback or questions or comments for us, feel free to let us know on our YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter channels, and go out there, be creative. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.